Hello, this is Debbie's Fitness, and we are going to be doing a 30-minute chair yoga class with a prop using a stick. So if you have a broomstick or another sturdy stick that you can use, that would be wonderful. Let's begin by talking about listening to your body. Do what you can and do what's comfortable for you. Yoga is slow and gentle movements to help with your strength and flexibility, balance and posture. Let's start by putting one hand on your stomach, the other hand on your chest, sitting up straight, relaxing your shoulders, Pay attention to your body's movement as you take a slow inhale and exhale. Breathing slow, inhale, exhale. Slowly put your hands on your lap. We're going to coordinate our hands with our breath. When you inhale, raise your hands up until you can't take any more breath in. And as you exhale, slowly move your hands down. Do a couple on your own and coordinate your hands and your breath. Take one more breath on your own. Deep breathing instantly calms the nervous system and relaxes the body. It's very grounding to take deep breaths throughout the day. Try to remind yourself to do that. Okay, put your arms at your side and slowly look up to stretch your neck up. Gently move your head down to slowly tuck your chin into your chest. Look up slowly. And down, chin to chest and hold. Come back to neutral position and look to one side gently and slowly. Back to the other side. Don't overstretch. Let your body tell you when to stop. And look back to the other side. And switch. Return to neutral position. Put one arm out at a 45 degree angle. Tilt your head to the opposite side. And switch arms, tilt to the other side. Other side, imagine your ear touching your shoulder and switch. Back to the middle and shoulder rolls back. Raise both shoulders up and down, reach down to the floor, up, and reach your fingers down to the floor. Shoulder rolls back. And relax to neutral position. So when we do our neck exercises, our energy lines run up and down. They run all the way across your body 
And there's also circular energy lines. So when we stretch our neck every day, it releases the pathways and releases any tension of the energy in our body. So always do, do gentle movements when you stretch your neck and your shoulders. Okay, arms out in front. Stretch your fingers apart and close. Make a fist. Open and close. Squeeze your hands tight when you make a fist and circles with your hands open reverse directions with your fists closed arms down arms up in front palms up touch your shoulders sitting up straight breathing gently and relax. Take a deep breath in. Exhale. Put one arm out like you're going to shake my hand and bring one finger in at a time to close and make a fist with your thumb up and bring your fingers out one at a time. Fingers in, one at a time. Slowly bring your arm out to the side as you bring one finger out at a time. Slowly move your head to the opposite direction. Hold your arm up. Look forward. Bring your fingers in one at a time as you bring your arm to the front. And relax that arm. Other arm out, shake my hand. One finger at a time. Out. And bring them in again. Ready to go out to the side, one finger at a time. Slowly, when you get to the side, look to the opposite side and hold. Bring your head back to neutral. Arm to the front and relax. Good, shoulder rolls back. <clears throat> okay, cactus, sitting up straight, shoulders relaxed, and back, touch your shoulder, and out, opposite hand and shoulder, out. And one last time. Hold. This cactus pose is very good for your posture. It strengthens your rhomboids, your muscles behind your back. And relax. Okay. Cactus, again. Shoulders down and back. Touch your opposite knee and up. We tend to bring our shoulders forward in a relaxed, comfortable position in our daily activities and that crunches everything. So when we do cactus, it strengthens our back and we have better posture. Last one. Up and relax. We want to always think about opening up this whole entire area of our abdomen so our organs have more room. Bring your arms out to the side. 
Let's do sun, arms all the way up and reach, arms down. Let's take a deep breath in as you bring your arms up for sun. Down in the middle, wiggle your fingers for rain. Arms out to the side, inhale up. Exhale, down in the middle for rain. Hands together, palms together, and namaste hands. All the way up, we're growing our rows. Open your hands out for the bloom of your rows. And together, down in the middle, up. Make your rose bloom at the top, arms out at the side. Good, arms up again, inhale for sun, exhale down. Inhale up, down into cactus. Inhale, bring your elbows in. Exhale, shoulders relaxed, inhale, exhale, arms down at your side, sun, inhale up, exhale, arms at your side, place them on your knees. Feet flat on the floor, forward bend. Keep your chin up and slowly go down. However far is comfortable for you and come up slowly. Arms out at the side, inhale up. Exhale, arms to the side, hands at the knee. Forward bend slowly. As far down as your body wants you to go and pay attention to your stomach and your back as you slowly come up. Use your stomach and back muscles. Arms to the side. Sun, inhale up. Exhale, arms to the side. Hands on your knees, forward bend slowly. Stop when you come down as far as you'd like to go. One arm out to the side, wiggle your hand, take a look at your fingers and bring it back. Slowly come back up. Inhale up for sun, out to the side, place them on your knees, slowly forward bend, chin up, arm out to the side, look at your hand if you would like and wiggle your fingers, come back to neutral position, slowly come up. Arms out at your side, shoulder rolls back. Okay, arms crossed over your shoulders, small twist to the side. Only go as far as you want to go. Come back to the middle, other side. Back to the middle. I dream of Jeannie. Slowly twist to the other side. Back to the middle. And twist. Twisting is great for your internal organs. Back to the middle. Arms to the side. It helps uh, nourish your organs so they can function better when you do twisting. Arms out, 
for life force reach and stretch reach 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 out to the side circles forward circle backwards and make a fist thumbs up thumbs down up down, up, and relax. Take a deep breath in. Exhale. Okay, now let's grab our stick and bring it in front of you. Hold it at a point where it's best for you, where you feel the most balanced. And let's do some small circles. Feel that in your shoulders, arms, sitting up straight and gently breathing. And reverse direction. Okay. Walk your hands down. Feel that stretch in your back and walk up as far as you'd like to go. Arms straight. And let's bring our stick out to one side. Stretch your arm out straight. Sitting up straight, gently breathing. Look to one side the opposite side of where your stick is and back to the middle. Now slowly lean toward your stick. Try to keep your arm straight. If you need to bend your elbow, that's okay. Whatever is most comfortable for you. So you can keep your arm straight or bend your elbow and still lean Come back to neutral position and switch sides. Bring the stick to the other side. Arm straight, other arm out at the side. Slowly stretch your neck to the opposite side and hold. Back to the middle and lean. Back to the middle. Bend your elbow if you need to and lean. And back to the middle. Okay. The stick helps your muscles not to overcompensate. Let's bring it to the middle. And it forces you to do the correct pose so it's an aid. And it, most people find that it really helps balance their body and it's a little easier to get the, to doing the right pose. So now we're going to do upward dog and downward dog, sitting up straight, holding the stick where it's comfortable for you. Slowly bring in the stick toward your body and inhale and look up. Exhale, push the stick out. This is upward dog, inhale up, exhale. Now, you can bring your stick out a little bit for downward dog. We're going to lean forward slightly, keep your arms straight and tuck your head in between your arms. Feel the stretch in your back in your arms and shoulders. Come back up for upward dog. Inhale up. Exhale down, downward dog. Stretch, hold. Come back up. Upward dog, inhale up. 
Exhale, down, downward dog. Come back to the middle. Let's put the stick behind you, behind your neck. Arms relaxed and slowly tilt to one side. Back up to neutral, tilt, feel that stretch in your side. Back to the middle, forward bend slowly. Come up, use your stomach and your back to pull your body up and relax. Put your stick out to the side. One more stretch. Bring your ar other arm so both hands are holding on to the stick. If this is comfortable, slowly lean. Or if you'd like to put your arm over your head, both hands on the stick, adjust the distance and stretch. Come back to neutral. Stick to the other side. Arm across your body and lean or over your head and tilt. Feel that stretch, your side. Come back to neutral and let's put the stick down on the floor. Arms out at your side, inhale up for sun. Exhale. Good. Okay, one leg out, ankle circles. Switch directions. When we move our joints, bring the other leg out, ankle circles. When we move our joints, we bring synovial fluid to our joints, which reduces stiffness. And reverse direction. Both legs down. Both legs out. Point and flex. Point and flex. Did you know that we have 25% of our bones are in our feet? That's a lot of bones. We need to keep our feet strong and relax. Keeping our feet strong helps with our balance and tippy toes up and down. When we do point and flex, it works on this calf muscle, which is our second heart. And that brings all the blood from the bottom part of your body back up to the heart and relax. So this muscle right here, the calf muscle, helps with circulation. If you don't walk a lot, it's very good to work on your calf muscle by going up and down or out, pointing and flexing. Okay, hands out, feet out for windshield wipers. and relax. Another great thing for circulation is the foot stomp. You want to pick up your leg and stomp on the floor. It doesn't have to be really high. As long as you're stomping on the ground, it stimulates all the capillaries on the bottom of your feet. And that helps the circulation in your entire body. So let's go to the other side. This is stimulating the circulation system as if you are walking. Foot stomp is great for people with neuropathy or if you don't walk a lot or can't walk for long distances. And relax. Let's take a deep breath in. Exhale. 
Okay, grab one leg and raise it up and down. Use the strength in your thigh muscle to bring it as far up as you can. And relax. Other side, up. And relax. Hip opener. This is called hip hinge. We're going to bring your leg out and back. Out and back. This opens your hips because our hips usually are sitting straight. When we sit, our hips are getting tight and in one position. Let's switch. But when we do hip openers, like the hip hinge, it allows your hip to get that range of motion that it needs. And it reduces the stiffness in your hips. So your hip socket is going out and this stretches your hips and legs. This hip opener is also great. And let's stop. It's great for you, the inside and the outside of your thighs. Okay, let's do another hip opener. Cross your ankles or your leg. Whatever is most comfortable for you. If you can cross your leg, wonderful. If you can only cross at your ankles, it's still going to do the same thing. We're going to lean, not on your knee, but on your thigh, and just gently push a little bit on your thigh to open your hips, and come back up. Grab a hold of your knee and rock it gently. And lean with your hand on your chin. Pressing gently. This is my, uh, the thinker pose. And August Rodin made that uh, famous statue called the thinker. And um, this is what it reminds me of, this hip opener. So this is my August Rodin pose. And switch legs. If you can only do your ankle, just do your ankle. And push with your hand or cross your legs, push with your arm, sitting up, rock your leg, and let's do the thinker pose. The statue was six feet and it was made of bronze. It took like 30 years to sculpt that statue. Everybody knows about the thinker. And relax, good. Okay, legs out in front, arms out at your side. Slowly look up and down, tuck your chin. All the way back up to neutral position. Bring your legs in. Let's take a deep breath in. Exhale. Put your arms on your lap, palms up, and close your eyes. Notice how your body feels. You're stronger and more flexible. You worked on your balance. Remember yoga is a gift that you give to yourself. So be thankful that you did class today. Only do what you can. Count your blessings. Open, out, open your eyes. Open your arms. Bring them in for a big hug and squeeze and smile. Hands together for namaste, which means I honor the light within you. At the count of three, one, two, three, namaste.
Thank you, everyone. Enjoy the rest of your day.